Hi, welcome to the 90 second hammer tutorial. Today we're going to do a fast little tutorial on how to place portals inside of the editor hammer. So grab your entity tool and do prop portal. These are going to be the same portals that the portal gun shoots, but only you're going to be able to trigger them via an input instead of the portal gun. So the first thing you need to do is give it a name if you make a prop portal. And a couple things that you need to do. You're going to want start activated active that doesn't mean it's going to start on we need to do that a different way and then portal number there's portal one or portal two portal one is blue and portal two is orange you can change the height and width if you want and the pair doesn't really matter so you're just going to go ahead and put that on the wall somewhere now you'll see in hammer in the overhead view you'll see this little yellow line you need that to be facing the direction that the portal will be facing so like that, yellow line faces away from the wall. And the center of the portal will appear at the center of wherever this uh, wherever this entity is. So now I'm just going to go ahead and shift drag it over here. And do a 180 with it. And change its portal number to 2. Hit apply, OK. And now we just need to trigger it. So I have a prop button already here. So you can trigger this anyway without logic relay. However, I'm going to add on pressed portal set activated state with a parameter override of one and I'm also gonna do on button reset set activated state zero so now they'll stay open for six seconds and that's it we we'll go ahead and compile this and then we'll head on over to portal 2 all right here in portal 2 we have the button activated portal there we go Push the button one more time. There you go. You've placed portals inside of Hammer. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.